Greetings once again, shaman. This is then back again, fresh from being down with the sickness. Still a little out of sorts, but feeling much better. Here to bring you another episode of Shaman King Flower. Previously, we learned the history of Yohane's spirit, Daikyo, who comes from the time of, well, I like to call it the time of Rorani Kenshin, where the sword was becoming obsolete giving way to the firearm. Interestingly enough, he ended up having a close bond with Amitamaru, something that happened between Yohane and Hana, much to Hana's chagrin. Even more so was the arrival of yet another new student, Alumi Numbrich, who completely steals the attention from a Yohane being the new student, and she shows herself to be incredibly popular with the class, but she just knows how to mingle with people. Meanwhile, Luka attends the high school, where she has an encounter with Ryuji, the new wooden sword Ryo, who is immediately attracted to her, and Luka takes the opportunity to ask him to take out a certain person who they have a common hatred for. Hana and Yohane skip and have a bit of a fun day out, only for Alumi to come after them, warning Hana to keep a better eye on his guardian spirit which Hannah, of course, doesn't. As they continue to walk through the mall without Lumi, they are ambushed by Luka, Ryuji, and his gang. But while Hannah is confident he can take on Ryuji yet again, when he tries to summon Amitamaru, Luka reveals a petrified Amitamaru, and a defenseless Hannah goes up against Ryuji's strongest attack. What can Hannah do when he doesn't have the backing of the very thing that made him so capable in the first place? Join me as I find out, won't you? Episode 5, Shocking Mall. Huh, it's a pun. Oh, it's not. Ooh, you can hear the splat from his skull. I got him. He got me. Yeah, you didn't dodge. Oh, <laughs> okay. Don't look down on me. <laughs> you gotta shake him. He dodged it. I dodged it. And, and on top of that, he's using a cloning technique. N now, you, I think you're concussed, kid. Oop, yep. Yep, that's not it. My vision's just blurry. I'm beat. Guess that shows how weak I am without a me tomorrow. <laughs> Ryuji's like, oh shit. <laughs> I thought he dodged. Sorry, me tomorrow. Oh, Ryuji, you're an actual murderer now. <laughs> Anna, crap. He's usually hard to hit, so I just went for it. I think I went a bit too hard. <laughs> Yeah, see, shockingly enough, most teenagers aren't really ones to go out and commit murder that easily. Oh god. Not to mention he fell down the stairs too? Yeah. Yeah. That that would kill most kids. And probably this one too. But, I mean, if you've been around Shaman King long enough, you know that death doesn't quite mean... It doesn't mean as little as it does in Dragon Ball, but it means almost as little. Well done, Ryuji. Yeah, as I said. You could easily defeat him today. Are you proud of yourself, Ryuji? This is what simping gets you. So what are you waiting for? He isn't dead yet. Go finish the job. I'm not gonna kill him. It was just a little payback. That's right. You're acting weird today, sister. You're almost like a different person. Even though he's part of the despicable Oscar mainline. Here you are having a friendly date at the mall. The date? <laughs> oh god. It appears that you're quite fond of him. That's not what- Hey Ria, this ch that chick is bad news. I mean, y'all all showed up to beat up one kid. What did you think was gonna happen? See, that shows how actually tough they were. Cause it's just like, when the going gets tough, it's just like, bail, bail. Like actual teenagers. <laughs> like, this is like, the most representation of teenagers I've ever seen. Where it's just like, oh, we were just, uh, we were just gonna rough them up a little bit. This is murder. I don't want to be involved with this. Let's get out of here. We gotta split before the cops show up. Oh, uh, wait, what's wrong? Here, show two. Hustle punch. What? Oh, a spirit? What's going on? What are you griping about? I, I told you to finish off Hana Asakura, or else I'll take out the rest of your friends next. Okay, she didn't give off this menacing a vibe before. Is she being possessed by something? Cause even Yohane mentioned that this is a little bit much. And if she had the power to petrify me tomorrow, wouldn't she have done it already? There's something off here. Is it possible she's possessed? I'll take out the rest of your friends then. Yeah, right? I think they beat it. Hey guys. Huh? Oh, hey. What the hell is that giant shrine behind you? Oh, you can see it. Oh. Ryuji, you wanted to be like Wooden Sword Ryo. Seems like you're going down that same path. Although you weren't in the opening, so I'm kind of questioning how much of this series you're in. Oh no. This seems a shock just now has allowed you to see Spirit. Oh, so you can see this too? Oh, what's that weird ball thing? I meet tomorrow Spirit Flame Mode. A spirit from over 600 years ago. Just gonna spill all the tea. He was a demon samurai of the time. This is the secret behind Hanahasakura's strength. Shamans connect to the world of the living and the dead. We manipulate spirits 
to manifest them in this world. We allow a spirit to possess our own bodies and guide our movement. Other times we have the spirit possess an item and turn it into a weapon. That's the reason you couldn't beat him before. Up until now you've been fighting against a real samurai. I fought a real samurai. Hey. That's right. Infuriating, isn't it? So finish him off. He used cowardly methods to make up for his own weaknesses. Behavior worthy of the heir to Losamasakura mainline. Even if you drew a quarter him, and the police wouldn't lift a finger. Huh? Because we've already purchased this ball. Wait, what? Purchase? Okay, but it's the triangle dude, isn't it? Cause, yeah, Yohane's oblivious to too much. And up until this previous appearance, so was she. She wouldn't understand how to purchase a whole entire mall. But the triangle dude. And the witnesses are outside communication. So do whatever you like. Uh, impossible. Our family can't even afford to buy new uniforms. Right. Oh god, I didn't know y'all were poor like that. Then again, an isolated family. So then how? Oh, it'd be that he's behind all this? He? Oh, your benefactor? Yeah, but that thing in the center does look like the triangle dude. Is she being possessed through her spirit or something? I said she saw Amida Amaterasu. His legs are formed by the two lions, Shiden and Raiden. They're dog spirits who once protected our family. Okay. Wait, what's the shrine then? The shrine at the core has always been a mystery. What? Wait, the shrine is something separate? I thought that was formed when she didn't ride and came together. Huh. One day, after our, one of our father's rare trips outside our home, he returned with a strange object. Hmm. Father, what's that? Someone gave it to me to destroy the Asakura. They gave it to you? What kind of spirit is it? Don't know. But it has the power to destroy the infamous legitimate brain. Ah, that eye. Yeah. If it was that shrine that turned me tomorrow to stone, it might be controlling my sister too. What are you waiting for, Ryuji? Hurry up and kill him. Yeah, all of you feel like something ain't right here. If you don't, you'll be next. Hey, Ryuji, you're a little in over your head, buddy. Oh, oh. Stop it, sister. Sister, it seems you're being manipulated. Me manipulated? Huh. Are you up for this, Yohane? What are you talking about, Yohane? Start by undoing this oversoul. Otherwise, I'll get rid of it myself. You can do whatever you please, but... What a shame. Thank you. Okay, yeah, something is definitely up. She wouldn't have done this. No, yeah. Thank you. Such a foolish spirit ally. I think he would leap in to help his enemy. Only if he turned to stone as well. He wanted to protect me tomorrow? Yeah, hon. How do you plan to stop my oversoul without your ally? My sister is clearly being manipulated. But what can I do? I have to, got to act fast or Hannah really will die. Huh? But he's having a near-death experience. The hell is this? Oh, where did I land? Huh? I could have sworn I was at the mall. The hell? This is all. I don't even think it's Japan. So, where am I? Somewhere in the Middle East? What? That oh, was an explosion. This isn't during what I think it is, is it? Anna? Oh, huh? I mean, it's in front of her. Yeah, when they were traveling. Don't tell me they traveled to the Middle East. And if this is, yeah, those early to late 2000s, oh my god, holy shit. Wait, Anna, not that way. That's not, this place is about to be hit. Jeez, oh shit. Protect the spirit of Earth. Jeez, wait, oh god, oh god. No wonder they didn't take Hannah with them. Oh, huh? what? Did Hannah deflect the blast? Huh. Oh, jeez, what a dream to have. Or less like a dream, more like a memory. Hannah, he's alive. So you're awake. That face. See, things are about to get troublesome. Can't you see it? Yo, Asakura and Anna Kyoyo. Two most formal Asakuras of the legitimate branch. This is their son, Hannah Asakura, who looks a lot like them. Especially his mother. Watch closely. Huh. His true power is about to be awakened. Oh. He's being surrounded by spirits. No. Those are... Oh. Little Oni. What? He took the green swirling in the mall and made souls from the dust. Whoa. Yeah, Anna's power over emotion. What? You mean you're no match for him now. Back you into this umbrella. Wait, she was able to. She was able to force him in. Overshot Science Star Halbert. Fusion. Demonic Force. Big Salem. She was able to force it. I must suppress his power. Oh, there are only a few small only. Yeah, honestly, it was Anna's power though, one that was to be feared the most. Cause in the end, wasn't she more powerful than Yo? Hey, I must suppress his power. There are only a few small only. Ah, look out, Oni's out, out. Using the demons as bullets, how impudent. Uh, you won't scratch Big Salem with just little Onis. Do this wondrous light beam. Ugh, peace. Okay. 
That was pretty simple. Team Oni. Oh, oh, okay. Now this, this is Anna's power, right? When she made the, holy crap. I never thought about this when it came to a child of Hannah and Yo. I just figured he'd have more control over it, but yeah. Oh no. Does this mean we're eventually gonna get the, what was it called? The big one that Anna had created? Uh-uh. Hannah made even more Oni. It doesn't make sense. There's too many of them. What are you waiting for? They're still small. We gotta sweep them away. Yeah. But it's only a matter of time then. Yep, there's the next phase. That's Oni. Yeah. He's going through all the phases. The next one will be the big guy. Yeah. Oni. Big Red. She's out. Holy crap. Yeah, what was that one called? Yeah, it was Oni Naka Oni O Oni. But is it a new version? Hey, so many Onis. Yeah, hey big guy. In the world is happening. How is Hannah summoning so many Oni? Never mind those others. This Oni. Yeah, he's from the legendary Mazo Sorza. Oh, that's so easily dealt with. You even brought out this great Oni. I'll still crush it here before your full awakening. He could go even further? Please wait, sister, what are you doing? Hannah, who is he really? Oni's out. Oh, God. There's war? As soon as my sister defeats them, war just appear. Wait. What's not so fast? Oni's ah. There's a step further? What the hell? Uh-oh. Oh, what the hell is that? Jesus. What the shit is that? Oni's out. What's that? All the Onis are gathered into one dark mass. A black mass of deep, continuous darkness. A dark Oni. Dark Oni. Uh-oh. What? There's light beam. Yeah, this one might not be enough. Jeez. It's no good. The darkness is already in the light. Impale it. Ah. Heavenly era. Jeez. Got it. I don't know. Oh, God. Like something out of Evangelion. Oh, eee. It broke. She didn't write and separate. How are you still going? Surround him and then devour him. I feel like this is a bad idea. Oh, God. It pierced him. She. Stop it. Don't do that. Don't touch the shrine. How are you still okay? All that damage to your oversoul. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Gee. God. Yeah. Sister. Oh. Oh. Die. 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 Oh. Holy shit. Jesus. Wait. Wait. Okay. Oh god. Speaking of Evangelion. What power? I'm being crushed in this darkness, completely blinded. I'm not able to hold on. So this is Hannah's power. Jeez. Of course not, you idiot. Nope. I got beans from the Patch Cafe, the Goldiva Bean. They're loaded in my silver horn shotgun. Silver horn shotgun. What? Lucky shot. Jesus! Uh, okay, I knew the silver arms were powerful, but damn! Gone just like that? Holy crap! Uh, is he dead? On the verge of death is his Benson fun? In other words, when the only start to come out. So what, they come out when he's on the verge of death? Why though? Anna didn't have to be on the verge of death for that time. I mean, she kind of wanted to die. She had kind of given up on life. I knew this would happen someday, but it's like something else to see it in person. I mean, you dealt with it pretty handily. Did you just say that that, that isn't his power? That's right. It's something he, he gave to him. What? Who? He. It was a condition for his resurrection a long time ago. While traveling with his parents, he came under fire. I was blown a bit. Wait, they died? Wait, they died during that? Oh shit, so how brought them back? And then he's Hannah, he died. And then, oh my god, he met him in the afterlife. Gee. Or was it just Hannah? Or all three of them? That sucks. For him to have died on the very mission they set out in order to appease Hal. Honestly, that almost just kind of proves how right. I mean, when you really think of the tumultuous time they would have been traveling around, that's pretty messed up. But... That was even before we were first introduced to Hannah at the end of Shaman King. So, I'm confused. How many situations has Hannah been? Because you still have that moment with Illumi that he obviously doesn't remember. What was this? I'll still wait for that explanation. When did they meet? Is it just that Hal has been looking out for his nephew, essentially? And is it like a defense mechanism? The, all the demons? And I didn't even think about the demon halberd being like a combination. Next episode, and Oni lies down by the river. Huh. I didn't even think about the Oni being a more representation of his mother, too. I'm, I, I keep thinking of him as like a little yo, but in this situation, he's more like a little Anna in most cases. Huh. All things to have died so young and it also kind of goes off to show just how much more powerful 
he how was, where he could take on battalions of battleships easily. Yo ended up <laughs> at the very least getting his son killed in a pail of bullet fire. Gee, that's that's really kind of messed up. That definitely looked like the Middle East. And given the time frame, it had to have been like what 2004, three. Two, maybe? I'm not sure. Very early on in. Like, right as the war was really starting to get underway. Gee, I hope those weren't American soldiers who killed him. Like, damn. I really can't say I was expecting things to go in that direction. That is brutal. What does it mean for him to have those demons in him? If that's not his own power, why would it? How bestow those demons upon him? That's odd. I mean, you know, how had to have a condition for bringing him back to life. So what was it? Hmm. Well, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed the ride. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, I've been Deuce Disden, and I hope to see you later. Till then, bye bye.